Special military trial of the DPRK Ministry of State Security for the unparalleled trader Chang Sung Tech was held on December the 12th. The special military trial examined the crimes of the accused Chang Sung Tech, who committed vicious crimes of the attempted overthrow of the state with all kinds of plots and despicable methods, with the intent to usurp the supreme power of the party and state by whipping up dishonest elements and forming a faction for a long time as the chieftain of faction of modern version. All the crimes of Chang Sung Tek prosecuted to the special military trial were proved 100% in the course of examination and fully admitted by the accused. The decision of the Special Military Court of the DPRK Ministry of State Security was read out at the trial. The decision said, The accused Chang Sung Tek is the unparalleled traitor who committed anti-party counter-revolutionary factional acts and betrayed the country with intent to overthrow the leadership of the party and state and the socialist system. Long ago, Chang Sung Tae was appointed to the responsible positions of the party and state, thanks to high political trust of the great generalismos Kim Il Sung and Kim Jong Il, and enjoyed their favors more than anybody else. Especially, he got higher posts and greater trust than before from respected Kim Jong Un. When the great generalismos were alive, Chang Sung Tae dared not raise his head but dreamt different dreams and engaged in double-dealing acts. At the historic turning point, when the generation of the revolutionists changed, he thought his time came and began to reveal his true colors. When the important issue on electing Kim Jong-un as the only successor to the great Kim Jong-il was being discussed, Chang committed unpardonable treason of playing a tacit trick and hindering his succession to the leadership in every way. When the great Kim Jong-il passed away too unexpectedly, too early and too regrettably, Chang began to intensify his movers to realize the ambition for power he had long cherished. In order to whip up the reactionaries to be used for overthrowing the leadership of the party and state, Chang Sung Tae cunningly put the dishonest and alien elements including those who had been dismissed for having flattered and followed him while disobeying the instructions of great Kim Jong-il in a department of the party central committee and affiliated organs and made his department a little kingdom nobody can touch. Chang Sung Tae established a heterogeneous working system in his department and affiliated organs under which his words were accepted as more important ones than the policy of the party enabling his stooges and followers to commit without hesitation such a counter-revolutionary act of disobeying the order of the supreme commander of the Korean People's Army. Dreaming a silly dream of becoming the premier of the cabinet as the first step for usurping the supreme power of the party and state, Chang Sung takes scheme to let his department control all the major economic sectors of the country and neutralize the cabinet and thus bring the national economy and people's living into an uncontrollable catastrophe. Chang Sung Tae ensured that coal and other precious underground resources were sold and made his stooges deeply involved in debt, deceived by brokers. Allegedly to pay the debt, he did not hesitate to sell in May last the land of the Russian Economic and Trade Zone to a foreign country in terms of 50 years. Chang Sung Tae, rashly attempting to realize his ambition for power, doggedly persisted in his moves to stretch tentacles even to the people's army, with an absurd calculation that he could succeed in coup with the mobilization of the army. He dreamt a silly dream that the new government would get foreign recognition in a short time after usurping power taking advantage of his dirty identity known to the outside world as reformist. All facts clearly show that Chang Sung Tae is the unparalleled traitor to the nation who made vicious efforts long by mobilizing the most cunning and insidious means and methods to disintegrate the DPRK from within and seize the supreme power of the party and state 
availing himself of the U.S. and South Korean traders' policy of strategic patience and waiting strategy. No matter how many years may pass, no matter how many generations may change, the bloodline of the Baekdu will not change. Our party, state, army and people know only Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-il and Kim Jong-un. Our army and people will never pardon those who dare to refuse the unitary leadership of Marshal Kim Jong-un, defy his absolute authority and pit an individual against the bloodline of the Baekdu. But find out all of them, whoever they may be and wherever they may hide themselves. Put them on a stern trial of history and mercilessly punish them in the name of the party and revolution, in the name of the country and people. The Special Military Court of the DPRK Ministry of State Security confirmed that the plot for the overthrow of the state hatched by the accused Chang Song Tek to topple the people's power of the DPRK, sympathizing with the enemy ideologically, constitutes a crime corresponding to Article 60 of the criminal law of the DPRK and decided to put him to death according to the article. The decision was immediately executed.